Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird at the Blackbird Grimoire. Welcome to the Daily Forecast for Friday, August 16th, 2024. It is the day of the lovers, Venus's day, Freya's day, and Frigga's day. It is the 26th of Leo, the 12th of Hazel, the 26th of Salmon, and the 21st of Hayonir, which is the haymaking month. For our astrology, the sun is in Leo, fixed fire, representing achievement. The moon is second quarter Capricorn, cardinal earth, representing traditions. Mercury is retrograding in Leo, fixed fire, which means fragile relationships. Venus is in Virgo, mutable earth, representing perfectionism. Mars is in Gemini, mutable air, which is to be pugnacious. Jupiter is in Gemini, mutable air, representing questing. Saturn is retrograding in Pisces, mutable water, which means to redefine dreams. Uranus is in Taurus, fixed earth representing renovation neptune is retrograding pisces mutable water which is about spiritual awakening and pluto is retrograding in aquarius fixed air which is to examine intentions and the reminders for the retrogrades for mercury it is about reevaluating communication patterns for saturn reclaim your authority for neptune reclaim faith joy magic and imagination for pluto reclaim your ability to regenerate for chiron restore the heroic spirit now for the moon phase, we have a waxing gibbous moon, so cultivate those intentions. And for the Capricorn moon, your dues are strategize, organize, plan. The don'ts are delicate relationships, conflict with enforcement agencies, and cold strategy. Now the Capricorn moon may actually work in your favor if tonight happens to be your date night with your sweetie pie. Uh, as Mercury retrograde has fallen back into Leo, thus increasing sensitivities within relationships and how communication is within those relationships, the impulse to carefully plan and organize might just help create a romantic atmosphere that is unbothered by any issues. Try to take the night off from any relationship issues tonight if you possibly can. Next up, we have the tarot of the day, which is very appropriately, we pulled the lover's card. Uh, the number six as represents the second stage of completion. It is, of course, part of the major arcana, and its keywords are falling in love, finding common ground, in encountering good opportunities, forming ties. Today really is a day to get closer. You know, you're feeling that from the stars. You're feeling that from the tarot. Uh, I think the universe is sending us some pretty clear signals today. Now for today's Celtic triad, three things desirable in a household, good order, good knowledge, and sufficient plenty. So of course we need good order. If there's chaos in the household, there's chaos in life, and there's chaos within one's own soul and everything just kind of disintegrates. Nobody wants that. And then with good knowledge, I mean, ignorance is best remedied when, when and where possible. Well, you need to have a certain amount of knowledge in order uh, to, to run a household well. And then with sufficient plenty, well, of course, that's abundance. And abundance without excess, that builds up the whole household. It makes it a better atmosphere for family and friends. It just... These lead to very good things. Uh, and of course, not all of it necessarily comes naturally to us or and it is, isn't always easy to arrange. But this, this is a goal that we pursue and pursuing that goal puts us in much better stead. Today's magical correspondences are centered on generosity for this color pink. The plant is the primrose, the animal is the buffalo, and the crystal is the pink agate. Now, it is very difficult to summon a spirit of generosity when one feels under threat. So you might not be wanting to reach out uh, to strangers or, you know, people you just don't know all that well, people you're just not really sure about, but the ones you are sure about, the people who are firm friends. Uh, your family members who you're on very good terms with, you know, hopefully your spouse, if you're married, you know, your children, of course, with them, with, within the people who are within actually your circle of trust, it is possible to cultivate uh, that spirit of generosity, even if you're feeling the need to put up uh, some, uh, some walls between yourself and the rest of the world just now. Now for your practice uh, of all the gods you work with or Okay, videos back or all of the spirits or all of the ancestors, uh, whatever beings that you have the most dealings with, who among them do you love the most? Just something to think about today. Uh, then today's hermetic principle is cause and effect. Look for examples of that in action. I guarantee you there is no shortage of them. And then for the witch's pyramid, we are looking at the interior today. And the interior is supposed to be filled with love. So is love at the center of your spiritual practice? Something to think about. Um, and of course, because love is a, is a very 
unspecific word in English. It's not like we have uh, different words. I mean, we have qualifying words that we can attach to love uh, to specify what kind of love we're really talking about. Uh, but we don't have different forms of the word uh, that really convey that kind of nuance. So how many kinds of love do you think that there are? And do something special for your favorite deity today. Then for the journaling, what says summer romance to you? Uh, whether it is an actual summer romantic relationship or it's just a, your, kind of this romantic atmosphere uh, of the season, there is something There is something about August. I mean, it's just, I'm not sure what it is. It's just there's, there's an atmosphere that just kind of takes you down a more uh, romanticized way of looking at the world, a more romanticized way of experiencing the world. So, you know, what does, what does that mean for you? You can take that in any direction you want to. And uh, that is what I have for you today. Have a wonderful Friday. I hope you uh, get to have a nice evening with your sweetie. If you're interested, you are very welcome to follow me on X at Blackbirds Brew. The Blackbird Grammar channel is available on both YouTube and Rumble. And of course, you are, as always, welcome to join the Oaken Elder Witchery. Link in the description below. Uh, but that's it for today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.